Hey fellow adventurers, in this episode we are going to be playing Gladiator Guild Manager. It is a battle strategy simulator about managing your own gladiator team in an epic fantasy world. The game was developed by Entertainment Forge and is published by Grab the Games. So let's check it out. The Barbarian Horde. Alright, let's start a new game. We will go with tutorial mode so that we get more tooltips and stuff. That way we'll have a clearer picture as to what all we can do. Buy your first gladiators. Okay, let's go to the guild building. Let's see what we can buy here. Gladiator market. Let's go with the Curtis here. After buying several gladiators, go back to the map. Okay. Um Berserker. Oh, so that's his class. Gotcha. Let's buy one of these. Um, let's go with. Let's go with Rio. She's cheaper. Let's go with Charlotte the Coyote. Okay. Um, looks good enough. Let's go with them. Okay. Since we've bought the gladiators, let's go back. Let's start our first arena here. Choose your first fight. There are three types of coupon rewards that you can win green, blue and purple. Each is worth more than the previous but also comes with a more difficult fight. Okay. Green, blue and purple. I think we can take on these guys. Let's just go with that. So basically, it's like an arena and you just put your gladiators in there. You just place them wherever you want to. Like you can probably decide which side you want to place them on to give them an advantage and they're just gonna auto fight. I'm gonna place them up here in the top corner so that they can just attack this guy first and then they can move on to him and her. And I'll keep her like a bit far so that she doesn't get sniped. Let's go. <sighs> okay. It's we only we can only take three characters at a time. Um let's pull back the archer. Let's try now. Nice. Oh, she almost killed him. Okay, good shit. Got her. Okay, it's, this is the last fight now. Ah, oh, this might be hard. What are these? I might be able to take them on. Let's go with that. They look like beasts, so that might be it. Let's see what they're about. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, they were level 1, so it wasn't too hard. So these are the loot boxes or loot cache. Let's just open them up and see what we get. 80 gold, some wood, some iron, and what is this? I'm guessing diamond, gems, something like that. Let's open these four. A lot of gold, a lot of ore, or stone, or rock. Some iron, wood, and more diamonds. And a chest plate of valor. Okay, reflects 30% of the black melee damage to the attacker. Nice, nice. So we can basically equip our characters with gear and items, I guess. Which is pretty cool. Okay, let's go back to our guild. Once you have enough resources, you can buy new buildings, allowing you to hire new types of gladiators as well as houses for more space. Okay. Um, we can buy four buildings right now, I think. A house increases maximum population of the guild by three unit slots. Okay, we need that. Nice. Now we can buy more types of uh, gladiators. Temple of Light. Able to hire priest gladiators, separate units who help by healing or casting magical shields on friendly gladiators. Okay, I like it. Um, Necrocrypt. Able to hire necromancer gladiators, spellcasters who transform dead units into allied ghouls. Oh, fire tower. Able to hire firemen through gladiators, artillery units, who deal high explosive damage to multiple enemies. Hmm. Kinda wanna go with Temple of Light. Let's go to the item market and uh, get some stuff for the boys and the girls. 
increases health by 150, stamina by 30, and strength by 2 points. Kinda wanna buy this for my Berserker. What does she use? She's agility. Okay. We can buy this for her. Now let's see, we wanna equip this to the Berserker. This on the Knights. This will make them stronger. And this on the Archer. I think we are ready. Okay, go to the Guild Gladiator Market. What do we wanna buy? We have 455 gold. We can buy an uh, Amra. Okay. We should be able to take a farm now. Let's go with that. Go with this one. We want to level these guys up a bit. Let's get them some experience. And this dude as well. Let's put them a bit forward. Nice. Good shit. Final fight now. Okay, let's try not to lose this time. Um, Rania, Furman, they're all level 4. They're all ranged, so it's gonna be a bit hard. Um, let's go with the first one. Alright, so my first impression of the game so far. It is like a 2D artichus where you put up your champions, or gladiators in this case to fight and clear certain levels. You can also buy different type of gladiators and their items from the shop for gold which you can earn by fighting in different types of arenas. Uh, the game looks really decent so far, but I'm sure they can work on the audio system a bit like different background music, different battle music, I think that would be a nice touch. I'm not sure if the game would support multiplayer on the final release, but I think that would be a good idea. Because fighting AI is fun for sure, but I think fighting other players might be more fun and challenging. Alright guys, that's it for this episode, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you can press the like button below, and if you're new to this channel, you can also subscribe to it for more similar content and the upcoming episodes. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care, stay safe, and I hope you all have a great day.